Every smartphone, laptop, and electric car relies on a lithium-ion batteries. But what if there was a century-old battery technology that could solve lithium's biggest problems? One that doesn't catch fire, uses cheap materials, and can be completely drained every day without damage. While everyone focuses on the latest lithium innovations, companies are quietly bringing back zinc bromine batteries from the 1800s. These forgotten power sources are now outperforming modern batteries in ways that could reshape energy storage forever. Every day, millions of people carry around potential fire hazards in their pockets, and most don't even know it. That sleek smartphone heating up during heavy use isn't just getting warm from processing power. The lithium-ion battery inside can reach dangerous temperatures during normal operation, and when things go wrong, it transforms into something far more dangerous. Lithium-ion batteries have become the invisible foundation of modern life. They power smartphones that connect billions of people, laptops that run global businesses, and electric cars that promise a cleaner future. Tesla alone has sold over 5 million vehicles, each containing thousands of lithium-ion cells. Grid-scale battery installations store renewable energy for entire cities. The technology seems so reliable that most people never think about what's actually inside these compact power sources. The statistics tell a different story. Tesla Megapack fires in Australia and California burned for days, revealing a critical flaw in lithium-ion battery chemistry. These incidents weren't isolated. They highlighted a dangerous chain reaction. When lithium batteries fail, they release oxygen, fueling fires that are nearly impossible to extinguish. The environmental cost begins long before batteries catch fire. In Chile's Atacama Desert, Producing just one ton of lithium carbonate requires around 500,000 gallons of water. Ancient aquifers are being drained to support mining operations, leaving indigenous communities facing water shortages and ecological disruption. Lithium prices have also proven volatile. In China, battery-grade lithium carbonate surged more than 700% within a single year, creating supply shocks that disrupted electric vehicle and solar markets. The supply chain is precarious. 90% of global lithium production comes from just three countries, Australia, Chile, and China, making the battery industry vulnerable to political instability and trade tensions. Recycling offers little relief. Lithium ion battery recycling is expensive, hazardous, and inefficient. Most batteries never make it to recycling facilities. Those that do are often stripped for cobalt and nickel, while lithium itself is lost during the process. Many spent batteries end up in landfills. Toxic materials risk seeping into groundwater. Grid-scale storage systems face their own risks. Fires at these facilities can release toxic gases, forcing evacuations and raising public safety concerns as more of the world relies on these insulations to balance renewable energy sources. Meanwhile, demand continues to grow. Electric vehicle sales are expected to reach 30 million per year by 2030. Grid storage must expand 50-fold to meet global climate targets. Every battery produced adds pressure to a system already burdened by extraction, instability and waste. The lithium powering a single smartphone is only the start of a rapidly expanding environmental challenge. The solution may not require a new invention, but a different approach to what already exists. The zinc bromine battery was first patented in 1885, a time when electric lights were just beginning to appear on city streets and inventors were racing to harness electricity. Amid that surge of innovation, the zinc bromine system emerged with a unique concept, energy stored in liquid electrolytes, a foundation that would later inspire today's redox flow batteries. At its core, the battery functioned by circulating zinc and bromine ions through separate tanks. As they interacted, the system generated electricity. Unlike lithium-based batteries, the zinc-bromine setup could scale easily. Need more power? Just add more tanks. This modularity was decades ahead of its time. What's baffling is how this promising technology faded into obscurity. While zinc bromine systems showed real potential for pairing with early electric lighting, it was lead-acid batteries 
patented just six years earlier, that took over the market. Despite being heavier, more toxic, and arguably less efficient in many cases, lead-acid batteries dominated for the next century. The reason? Oil. As cheap gasoline engines took over transportation, investment in electric storage dried up. Petroleum-powered cars and generators reshaped infrastructure and priorities, leaving alternative battery chemistries like zinc bromine stuck in the past. Electric vehicles disappeared from the mainstream. Battery research slowed to a crawl. But the materials that powered these forgotten batteries never went away. Zinc is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, and bromine is easily extracted from seawater and brine balls bound across the globe. Unlike the thium, which is mined under harsh conditions in just a few countries, zinc and bromine offer global availability, stable pricing, and fewer geopolitical risks. So why didn't we return to them sooner? Early zinc bromine systems were complex. They required flowing liquids, regular maintenance, and careful handling, barriers that made them impractical in the analog world of the 20th century. But the digital tools of today, advanced modeling, materials design, and precision control systems have changed that. Companies like Redflow and Jellion have revived the chemistry with modern engineering. Redflow's ZBM3 battery uses a self-cleaning cycle that performs reliably in remote, hot environments like the Australian outback. Jellion, meanwhile, developed gel-based electrolytes that can be manufactured using the same infrastructure built for lead-acid batteries, slashing production costs. These aren't just upgrades, they're reinventions, turning a once-forgotten chemistry into a rugged, scalable, and environmentally resilient energy solution. And their most compelling feature, they're nearly impossible to destroy. Jellion showcased the safety of their zinc bromine battery by placing it on a 700 degrees Celsius hot plate. The battery continued operating without smoke, flame, or failure. That test didn't just prove durability, it revealed the core reason zinc bromine batteries stand apart. Their chemistry makes fires physically impossible. Unlike lithium ion systems, which rely on flammable organic electrolytes, zinc bromine batteries use water based solutions. This means no ignition, no thermal runaway, and no fire, regardless of impact or heat. When something goes wrong, the system doesn't explode, it shuts down. This distinction becomes especially clear during battery failure. In the lithium-ion packs, a single damaged cell can trigger a runaway reaction, heating the battery to over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. As pressure builds, flammable gases ignite, creating violet fires that feed themselves by releasing oxygen. Tesla Megapack fires in Australia and California burned for days, releasing toxic smoke and forcing large-scale firefighting responses. By contrast, zinc bromine batteries resist fire by design. In real-world tests, they remain inert when punctured, crushed, or overheated. The reactions that store energy simply stop. There is no flammable chain reaction, no oxygen release, no runaway heat, and the protection doesn't end there. The bromine component acts as a flame retardant. In fact, tests suggest that gel-based electrolyte used in Jellion's Endure battery may even help suppress nearby fires. The gel not only resists combustion, it can slow down the spread of external flames. In confined spaces or areas with flammable materials, that's a major advantage. This inherent fireproofing opens up a range of critical applications. Hospitals, for example, need backup power systems that won't introduce new risks to patients or sensitive equipment. Schools and residential buildings require energy storage that won't trigger evacuation protocols. With zinc bromine, these scenarios become far more feasible and far safer. The difference lies in the foundation, a water-based electrolyte that cannot burn, and a naturally fire-resistant chemistry. Lithium-ion systems must be designed around the risk of fire. Zinc-bromine batteries eliminate that risk from the start.
Zinc bromine batteries are also much cheaper and easier to work with than many people realize, especially compared to other battery types like vanadium or lithium. For starters, the materials themselves, zinc and bromine, are way less expensive, making zinc bromine batteries cost around $153 per kilowatt hour, while vanadium battery can cost over $490 for the same amount of storage. That cost difference comes from how easy it is to get and process zinc and bromine. Zinc is mined all over the world using basic, long-established methods. Bromine comes from seawater or salty underground water, and it's extracted using simple chemical techniques. These materials are already used in lots of other industries, like construction, farming, and medicine, so their prices stay steady and reliable. That's very different from lithium which is tied to unstable markets and political issues. In fact, lithium prices in China once jumped 700% in just one year, creating chaos for battery makers. Even after installation, zinc bromine batteries are cheaper to run. They don't need air conditioning or fancy fire safety systems to stay safe, even in really hot places. That cuts down both upfront and ongoing costs. And the more you scale up zinc bromine systems, the cheaper each unit of energy becomes. That's the opposite of lithium which often gets more expensive the bigger it gets because of added safety requirements. Finally, they last a long time, up to 5,000 full charges and discharges, often twice as long as lithium batteries. That means fewer replacements and lower costs over time. In short, zinc bromine batteries are built from stable, affordable materials. They are cheaper to manufacture, they cost less to run, and they last longer. For many industries, they offer a smart, safe, and budget-friendly alternative to traditional battery tech. Zinc bromine batteries prove their value in the very settings where lithium-ion systems fall short. Grid storage, off-grid living, and harsh remote environments. Their non-flammable chemistry makes them ideal for large-scale grid installations, where safety regulations and infrastructure costs can quickly balloon with lithium. In off-grid scenarios, they provide dependable energy without the fire hazards or maintenance demands that typically accompany battery storage. And in extreme climates, where heat, dust, or isolation make traditional systems risky, zinc bromine thrives, offering stable performance without cooling systems or fire suppression gear. These are the front lines where their advantages become undeniable. The big takeaway is that sometimes the best innovation isn't new. It's a century-old idea, reimagined for today. This century-old chemistry is just beginning to show its potential in our renewable energy future. If you found this story of rediscovered chemistry surprising, share your thoughts below and subscribe for more deep dives into emerging energy tech.